Hello and welcome back to your online lesson three and lesson four. Um, we are going to do another artist research and an artist copy. So artist research lesson three and then your next lesson you'll be expected to do the artist copy. From your last lesson people have sort of said it's a lot of work to try and get a whole artist research page done in one lesson. So I've listened to you um and in response to that you've got two lessons to do this artist research page okay which is absolutely fine um so this is a more modern artist her name is kath riley compared to dura who you were looking at last lesson so she's more of a modern artist and hopefully interesting as well um so we're just going to go through her lesson as you can see um a lot of her art pieces that i'd put on here um they are you know a lot of pencil drawings um different angles of hands so it, you know it relates to what we've been doing the last couple of lessons really nicely you'll be pleased to know after this we are going to be moving on from hands we're going to be doing something slightly different after lesson four so stay tuned don't just uh, think oh god not another lesson of hands but it they are really interesting to draw and i think it's something that you you need to practice to get good at it you can't just do a couple of lessons on it and then you know sort of brush it under the carpet so that's why we're doing um these two lessons on it so go on to the next slide for me and we'll talk about today's lesson okay so you're doing our activity for today's lesson um, it looks similar but it is slightly different so i'm just going to talk you through it quickly so compare the hand artist on the right you have dura who you are familiar with and kath riley who you are uh, looking at this lesson Write six sentences, a small paragraph, if that means, comparing the two artists. Use the sentence starters to help you below. So you, you, you don't actually have to use these sentences if you don't want to. If you find it easier just to write a nice paragraph without these and maybe thinking about some of the things, you know, include some of the things, then that's absolutely fine. Um, so, you know, Dura, you did last lesson, so you know a little bit of information about him. Um, and you're comparing his work to Kath Riley, who you pretty much know nothing about, apart from what I've just told you in the last slide. Um, so obviously you're going to know more about him than her. But I want you to compare these two images. What similarities are there and what differences are there? You've got five minutes. Um, pause this video now and off you go. OK, so do now answers. Um, this is my answer just here. I've written a very small um, sort of answer, but just to give you an idea of what I wrote. Uh, so I put the work I am most influenced by is Kath Riley. I feel this image in particular has a meaning behind it and is likely to capture her audience's attention compared to Drury's hand art piece. His work, although very detailed, does not catch my attention as much due to it being on blue paper. So you could sort of talk about harmonious colours there so it doesn't really stand out as much. Um, I also prefer Kath Riley's work more because I question what media she's used to create this daring piece. So um, is it photography or is it pencil? It looks very, really realistic. Now, I know it's pencil because I'm, I obviously look, I know Kath Riley's work. Um, but at first glance, it could be a photography piece because it's just so well done. It's so realistic. Um, and that's why I really like it. Um, so yeah, so hopefully you check your answers, hopefully you've got some artistic keywords in there and um, we'll go on to the next slide. Okay, so your learning objectives for this lesson, that's lesson three, because um, you're just doing the research this lesson, is to learn about artist Kath Riley and how to create an artist research page. To learn how to write about an artist and evidence this. Learning outcome for today's lesson, I'd like you to research and create a research page on Kath um, Riley. Okay. Um, now I'm going to just reuse this video for your next lesson as well. So for your next lesson, you are going to be doing the learning objective is to learn how to recreate an artist's copy of Kath Riley's work and how to evidence this in your sketchbook. Learning outcome to create an artist's copy of one of Kath Riley's art pieces in pencil. So use the grid that you learn in the first lesson to make a drawing, a an artist's copy of her work, basically. Um, and you should get a really good outcome. So and then you're going to present it all at the end end of your second lesson um okay so what we'll do is um we'll go through the lesson and i'll show you some examples at the end of this lesson of what i'm looking for 
Okay, so Kath Riley um, was born in 1952. She gained a first class honours degree in, in embroidery and an MA in fine art from Manchester. Um, sorry, Polytechnic and quickly gained attention from her three dimensional artwork. In 1979, for example, George Melly purchased her mixed media collage, The Lady with the Hat, The Arts Council Collection, and other pieces have been acquired by um, for Granada Television, Northwest Arts, and for um, other museums and galleries. She's really, really famous and sort of, she's well known in London and sort of the UK. She's well known in America and various other places around the world. So whilst 3D art has always played a central part in her creative output, in recent years, Kath's detailed pencil drawings have featured in ex exhibitions and have been purchased and published by companies and organisations, including Nike, um, Adidas, The New York Times, The Economist and the Aston Martin. I've put a couple of links just there to her website and I want you to click on those because it gives you so much more information and it gives you a broad variety of all the work she's done. Beautiful pencil pieces, it's not just hands and faces, it's a lot of other areas that she's done beautiful pencil drawings of. It's just quite interesting to uh, have a look at, things like food and that type of stuff. Um, this is an art critique comment on one of those pieces. She put, these stunning pencil illustrations by Kath Riley are truly inquisitive. She has an amazing grasp of the, sorry, the subtleties of the human form, um, especially the texture and elast elasticity gosh, I can't talk, of human skin and the proportions of complex features like faces and hands. Okay, so there's loads of brilliant comments on her work. She's won loads of awards and um, she's she's really popular. So we're going to the next slide, a little bit more information on her. So artist research page, um, you're familiar with this now, this, this sort of layout, but I have got a couple more examples that are related to Kath Riley. Um, so just a reminder, you need an artist's name. So Kath Riley at the top, this is a really good example. Let's get the zapper thing again. Um, laser, so Kath Riley, here's the title. Six to eight images of her works. So we've got one, two, three, four, five there. I could do just a couple more, but I think there are some more on the other side. Um, information about them, their background, their practice, follow the annotation guide, which I've attached again. Um, so here's some information on her, really well detailed. Analyze their work and their style. So you can, I mean, it's, you know, it's zooming in on sections, isn't it? It's like zooming in on the artist's facial features and skin and that type of thing. Um, and then obviously she's done she's done it in pencil and stuff, so you need to kind of talk about that. How did they how did they create types of their pieces? Uh, have a range of images of their practice. What is your opinion of their work and practice? How does the artist relate to your theme? So um, you're looking at kind of like hands at the moment and uh, kind of like portraiture, figurative kind of projects. So it relates really well to that. Because um, you're, you're looking at a person's body, really, and that relates really well. So, um, uh, so that's Kath Riley. There's another example on the next slide. So if we just go on to that one. Um, sorry, just before we do go on to that one, I just want to say this is really nicely presented and we've got a beautiful facial sketch there. You might want to have a go at doing something like that. Um, but I would prefer you to have a go at drawing a hand. You might want to have a go at doing something with some of these as well additionally okay sorry we'll just go on to the next slide so artist copy the sketch should be at least a5 size which is about the size of your hand so here you go so um here's a selection of different drawings of a hand so this is a student's artist research page on kath riley we've got the title there we've got all these beautiful studies we've got some of her images there and then there are some annotations um, and these like bits here of paper, but I would like a little bit more annotation. Uh, think about taking your time, sketching the outline carefully and accurately. Again, use the grid technique, which I, you learned um, a couple of lessons ago, um, but drawing the proportions correctly. Work in tonal shading, observational, I'm sorry, observing Riley, Riley's work carefully to be able to create a successful copy of her work. You might want to stick to doing the copy and pencil or you might want to try out using another media. I suggest you stick to pencil for this 
the first one if you want to do more then i then go for it go into different medias and be a bit more creative and um, present your work neatly that's really important okay take pride in your presentation okay go on to the next slide of course when you have finished remember to upload your artist research page and copy onto class charts i had a few more last lesson that was fantastic well done and um, look out for some achievement points and feedback from me thank you for all of your efforts in your lessons